How are we doing folks? Welcome back to another episode. Well, in this one guys, I'm gonna be tackling some flow coding. A few guys have been messaging us on Instagram, probably seeing a little bit of progress we've been making um, and the stuff I've been posting over there on Instagram with some of the flow coat and speckle. So I've done a few smaller areas, um, like the, the well back here. It's come up really well. I'm very happy uh, with the speckle and the color. It just looks amazing. I'm really happy with that. And as you can also see, since my last video, is I have gel coated down each side of the boat. I've given it all a wet sand um, back to about 1200 grit and um, I've cut and polished some of it and it's come up really good. The top side's done to 1500 and I will do the sides to 1500 as well. So what I want to do there is uh, um, finish off that once it's back out on the trailer. So my main focus now is to get this flow coating done while it's still in the shed. And then we've got to work out how we're going to squeeze this boat out of this shed because uh, we don't have the height to come out. So we're going to have to get the boat out first before we put it on the trailer. That's down the track. So, but what I'm going to do today for you guys is just show you how I've been flow coating, how um, I've been doing this uh, speckle, which is, it, it looks really professional to me. I'm really happy with that spe speckle there and basically just give you a little bit of an update on the rest of the boat and show you where we're at. So I've done a bit of work in the cabin. It's looking pretty good. I've just done this in two stages and you can see that definitive line along there. So not really happy with that, but it's just the way it goes. The speckle's looking pretty awesome as well. And as you can see, the dash is nicely polished up. It's a little bit dirty and dusty at the moment, but it's certainly come up nicely. The inside of the wave breaker there is all speckled looking pretty tidy and the boat's coming along nicely as you can see i've masked out and what i'm going to do is speckle well flow coat and speckle from basically the entire sides stern area and up the side again all that i'm going to leave in there the well and in that side until um, after I do this, then I'll get in there and do that. And then I'm gonna do the floor last so I can work my way out. Now the floor needs a good tidy up, a good grind. The floor does need to be keyed back up uh, because I did put a waxed coat over it um, when we initially laid it down because I just didn't want it to get tacky. And in hindsight, I probably should have covered it with something. So if you're gonna do something like that yourself, I would probably if you can't get flow coat on the floor straight away, I would just leave it um, covered so it's not uh, not there just picking up everything that falls on it and and losing its um, losing its cleanliness. I'd say so. All right. Well, I'll keep prepping. I've got a, I've got a fair bit of acetone washing to do to get this surface prepped nicely, and then I'll uh, get into some flow coating. Let's get stuck into it. Guys, don't forget, you've got to get that flow coat on there nice and thick. It, the reason it has to go on thick is to give it that thermal activation so it actually kicks off uh, the curing process and makes that flow coat set. Otherwise, it'll stay tacky if it's too thin and uh, it won't cure until you uh, put something over it that'll make it cure. So make sure it's nice and thick. Righto guys, now that the flow coat's down and on, I've got to move reasonably quick because I've got to get the, um, the speckle ready. So um, we've got to spray that on there while this uh, flow coat is still curing. So let's get straight into it. I'm going to try and film this for you quickly. It's going to be quite difficult. Alright, so got the gun here. Hang on, let me adjust this camera a bit better for you. So wrap the coat gun, 20 psi. I normally have a, I do have a, an attachment that goes on here, but at the moment I'm just gonna do it with it straight out of the cup because it's a venturi pickup. And you can see quite how easy it is to just batter on. All right, I'll put a time lapse on and do the rest of the boat for you. 
This is a relatively quick process, guys. Just be mindful of how much spatter you're putting on. Try and make it a nice, even, consistent coat. Well, that was all rather a little bit hectic. It is quite a hot day here today. It's probably nearly 30 degrees, so it's probably a little bit hot to be doing this sort of thing, particularly on your own, because you've just got, you know, only two hands. So, look, um, I think I did reasonably well there to get it all on in time. Uh, and, uh, get everything done. Let's have a look at it, eh? It probably went a little bit trigger happy here. Actually, a little bit of acetone dripped on there or sweat or something, which is rather annoying, but it's just come into where that masking tape line is. I will pull this masking tape off now as well. Once once we get a little bit of um, tackiness to it, we'll pull this uh, masking tape off, particularly the areas where the lines are. So the two forward bulkhead lines and these aft bulkhead lines and the bait tank line. But all in all, I'm pretty happy with the results. Realistically, all I've got to do is basically under the transom section, the well, inside the bait tank and then obviously this floor this floor is going to need a good grind so what i might do is attack those other two compartments i've still got to get right up in the anchor well but that can be done at a later stage and basically once i give this floor a good grind and a good clean i'm going to attack it i bought some non-skid sand i'm not too sure how good it's going to work i'm not overly convinced that it's the right product i'm still tossing up whether I just straight flow coat it and run um, a, a C-Deck product, like a, a foam flooring product on there, is, which is what I really want, but it's all coming down to budget at the moment. Um, we're coming to the pointy end of this thing and it is starting to add up. Uh, so I'm just trying to get it on the water at the moment and if I have to uh, worry about a floor later, I will. So basically, that's how you do your speckle. Well, that's how I did my speckle. Um, I ran it through that Raptor coat gun. You can buy them, I think they're about $100 odd dollars. I just had it left over from a job when I uh, Raptor coated a trailer. And uh, it's a great, I think a dead in a gun does the same thing. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, just drop a comment in there for everyone to look at, but I think it's basically the same thing. And all you do is drop the PSI on that particular compressor. I dropped the PSI at the compressor down to about 20 PSI and it's just enough to spatter it all on, which uh, yeah, come up uh, pretty good. I probably went a little bit hard in some places. You can definitely see more white in areas than others, um, but that all comes with practice. But I'm overall, I'm pretty happy with it. It's uh, come up pretty damn nice for uh, my first time. I'm, I'm very, very happy, and I'm happy with the color scheme. That storm gray flow coat with a, a polar white speckle and that. I think that just looks schmick. I really like the dark greys. I'm not overly fond of light greys. I much prefer the darker greys. I think it really just brings out that white a lot more and shows the speckle. It takes your eye line off a lot of those, all them lines of the glass and that, which obviously where the joins in that are, you just don't want to be seeing those. So that's what the speckle does. It takes your eyes away from it. Yeah, no, I'm really impressed with how it's come out. And uh, yeah, looking forward to the next step, which is fit out so hang around for that guys um, won't be too long and I'll have some uh, some hopefully on the water shots I'm really gonna uh, I'm really gonna just hook in and hopefully do as much fit out as I can get the motor on get the fuel tank all hooked up get some sounders and gear in it I've got some exciting news um, Simrad uh, products to throw in and um, yeah we've we're going to really kit this boat out with some serious electronics, which is going to uh, make it one hell of a game fishing machine. So stick around. Don't forget, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. The notification bell notifies you when I post these videos. So if you don't want to miss out, make sure you hit it. All right, guys. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll uh, catch you in the next one.